just a potter in his cockpit seated. Black leather on his ass, keep a hustler heated. Hello everybody and welcome to the channel. So today is a very cold day. It's, um, I believe it's like somewhere in the high 30s, which again, for Houston, that's super cold. I know it's not like the coldest, you know, in the world or whatever, or in the, even in the States. It's, it's cold here though, okay, it's cold. So here I got my other battery. I was just gonna try to see if it would come back to life to any extent. So, for those of you who watched the last video, you know I just put a lithium battery in this guy. So, let's see how it starts in the cold. So you see it's at 13.2 uh, volts, which is really good. So you see there, the outside temperature is 42 degrees. So it's decently cold with the ignition on and I'm not sure if the lights are on. Where are they? Nope. It's not dark enough for the lights to come on. But the ignition's on, 12 and a half. Let me throw on the headlights too, give it as hard of a time as possible. So you can see we're all the way down to 12.2 because lithium doesn't like cold. But with that being said, it should be enough to still crank the car, hopefully. But you know, I want to give it the, the least chance of doing that. So I got, I got everything on. Let me make this blow a little harder. There we go, look at that, down 11.9. Now, let's see if it'll crank her. That cranked with like zero problem. Okay, well. I think this thing sounded healthier in the past. Sounds kind of a timing belt or chain or whatever it uses. I don't know what that is. What do you guys think? It'll stop when it warms up, but I don't really know what that is. So what I'm hoping to do today is to get these um, demon wheels put onto the charger here. So what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna take these wheels over to a, a shop, drop them off, and then take this guy over there and then just repeat the process because it is way too hard to try to fit these in the car and I really don't feel like dealing with it. So let's get them loaded in the pilot. All right, we got them all loaded up. And so you see the car's been idling for a moment. Completely silent now, so it just doesn't like, you know, whatever, maybe I have too uh, heavy of an oil for this temperature or something like that, I don't know. Okay, I'm at, here at Tire Man, used tires. Just drop them off. So I'm gonna go back home, which isn't too far, and uh, grab the car bring it over here and then we'll install. There was one thing I kind of forgot about. I wanted to weigh the um, demons, the demon replicas and the normal rims is to kind of compare them. So hopefully we'll be able to do that just to see which one's heavier. Cause just kind of curious. I would expect them to be kind of the same, but I don't know, maybe the demon one has less spokes or something. We'll see. All right, grab my scale. All right, so since it's 40 degrees, we know what's next and we know it's gonna be super loud. So let's do it. Give you some distance so you can get a good um, appreciation for the noise. Some white tea cracker. So we run this red light district. Who the other internet and checks the statistics? Optimistic, I know. 
All right, so let's get to go to get these put on. I'm kind of curious how it's going to look. The car is dirty, so I might run it by a car wash after before I do the big reveal, but we'll see. I'm not really big on the reveals, but we'll see. All right, here we are. Yep, the car just stalled. Really just happened. Okay. So now I'm leaving without the tires because I forgot the wheel locks. Because why would you keep those in the car? That wouldn't make any sense, would it? All right, so I grabbed the lock, which I don't keep in the car for some reason, which I probably should, but what else? Okay, so I'm not sure how this is humanly possible, but Apparently the lock that I have on this side is not, the key that I have doesn't work for this side. So that means that this is still the old one. I'm pretty sure I replaced it. I don't know, I don't know how that's possible other than that obviously I didn't replace it and I thought I did. So that sucks. Okay, so I'm just gonna weigh one of these guys real quick. Okay, in the full box and everything, we're like at 15 pounds. Okay, so this is uh, another one. I believe this is also a nine and a half. I'll have to verify. It's super cold, so my thinking is is uh, compromised. So this one is 15.4. So 15.4 for that one, but it, I'm, let me just verify that it's not. I'm not comparing the front versus the rear. And then um, you'll know this half a pound heavier, so I doubt it's front versus rear because I, I think the difference would be bigger than half a pound. All right, back at home. I did roll by a car wash. I'm hoping I'm gonna get, well, it's not super, super clean, but it's cleaner than it was. Go, this is it sorry the lighting's not the best because it's super overcast but actually it's growing on me I think it looks really damn good I'll give you a full walk around oh 
Okay, so that's gonna be it for now. It's super cold out still, so about to go back inside. But let me know what you guys think of these um, demon replicas. I, I think they, they're growing on me. And when I was talking to the dude at the, the tire place, I was asking him what he thought, um, you know, of these versus the other ones. And uh, he said that these look a lot better. He, he doesn't even know that much about these cars, but he said that those other rims, he said, I, I don't know. He said, those are the ones that everybody has. <laughs> so I thought that was pretty funny. The, um, the Hellcat rims are apparently um, somewhat common. I guess that's one good thing about these is they look pretty unique. So one of the uh, locking lug nuts didn't work with the key and I, it was one of the front ones. It must have been one that I just forgot to do or something. I don't really know, but um, so we used the, the silver one right here. So we'll have to figure out, maybe I'll buy a new set of locks and replace them all again. The, um, the information on these, um, on these rims, I'll put it in the description, but these are from factory reproductions. They're just, um, demon replica rims and uh they cost for the set it's right around 900 bucks um i'll put you i'll put the email and the, the link and everything below i think it's a pretty good option it's ten and a half in the back nine and a half in the front so you can run the bigger 315 size that i've got on here so you can see the the rear is 315 where's that 315 35 20 and the front is 275 40 20 for those of, of you new to the channel don't know which tires i have and these are the same tires from the other rims of course in any event you guys let me know what you think thanks for watching be sure to like and subscribe peace